If you've ever used any Cardano dApps, you'll have noticed how super slow and clogged the network is. Luckily, there is a solution inside that will make this process a lot smoother and faster. My name is Kieran. Subscribe if you want to get an unfair advantage in crypto. Scaling Cardano with Melcometer. Melcometer is probably one of the best solutions to scale Cardano and other non-EVM blockchains. Melcometer is a layer two scaling solution and allows for many non-EVMs and EVM blockchains to become interoperable with each other. There's a lot to unpack. So I highly recommend that you watch the entire video as being early in one of these ecosystems can be super rewarding. So let's talk about why Melcometer. It basically allows for non-EVM blockchains to receive solidity support and scale. So non-EVM blockchains are blockchains that do not have this Ethereum virtual machine and cannot just natively run solidity smart contracts. Example for non-EVM blockchains are Cardano, Algorand, Solana, and Terra. So the Milcometer layer two solution can scale Cardano, Algorand, Solana, and Terra. And it's fantastic because it also allows developers to port, to copy, to fork projects from Ethereum to Milcometer. That means you can probably use Uniswap on Milcometer. However, you cannot use Uniswap on the Cardano blockchain. Furthermore, what is really awesome is that zero knowledge technology will be added on top of Milcometer as layer three. Zero knowledge technology adds a layer of privacy and also adds an even faster scaling solution. So if you're not really familiar what layer two blockchains are and how they interact with layer ones, this is a simple explanation. So Cardano is a layer one blockchain. They're notable for being slow when there's a lot of traffic. So you might remember the frustration when using Sunday Swap when it just launched. So the layer two blockchain sits on top of the layer one and basically uses the layer one security, but allows users to interact with dApps at a much faster speed and with much lower gas fees. By the way, if you want to get an unfair advantage in crypto, I highly recommend joining the DeFi Academy. You get trading ideas, tips, NFT tips, um, on-chain alerts, which tell you when whales are selling, technical analysis updates that give you an overview of the market and a thriving community that shares. I highly recommend joining the DeFi Academy. Link is in the description below. Now, no project is going to be successful without a great leadership. Now, the leadership behind the Mercometer project is fantastic. It's led by the CEO, Nicolas Arqueros. He was working previously at Emurgo and he is the owner of the Yoroi wallet for Cardano. And you've also got another awesome, Sebastian Guillermo is also part of the team as a CTO. He previously also worked at Emurgo and developed one of the most used Cardano libraries in the ecosystem. Even Coinbase is using that library to provide ADA support. So very strong leadership. Let's have a look at what benefits the users get. So Milkometer is built for users and will integrate DeFi bridges, allowing for interoperability, games, the GameFi sector, play to run is super important and an NFT ecosystem, which brings the community aspect to Cardano. Let's have a look at the roadmap as there are a few important milestones that are about to be hit. So some that I'm excited about, Cardano public beta mainnet in Q1, in Q2, in the radiation era, we're going to have the Algorand public beta mainnet and the Solana um, limited beta mainnet. Super excited about that. At the moment, there's no token or airdrop announced, but who knows in the future, there might be one. What I recommend doing is bridging some ADA to the Mercometer chain as soon as possible, interacting with dApps, and who knows, you might get lucky in the future. If this video gets 100 likes, then I will create a tutorial and show you how you can bridge. With that said, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.